Welcome. Today we start a new course, e-commerce, or like uh, that's what I prefer to call it, advanced web application development. So again, welcome to e-commerce. Um, although the name is e-commerce, I want you to think of this class as more as an advanced web application development. Um, although definitely e-commerce is definitely a subset of this. We have uh, you know eBay, Amazon, all sorts of different sites out there you can uh, buy things. It's definitely a driving force of uh, web app applications, but it's not the only web application out there. So we will be looking into things how to make e-commerce sites and web and those sites, but we're also going to be looking into how to make web applications in general and different technologies. This course is going to assume you've taken uh, some sort of intro to web application design class, um, hopefully had a server side language, preferably PHP, and have had a little bit of experience with database. It's not super heavy on the database side, but we are going to have to use the database. We are going to have to write uh, CRUD, create, read, update, and delete functions for our database. However, Coding Nighter is going to give us a lot of help on that front. So, but you will have to understand the basic idea of the, of the uh, database. This course will assume you have strong programming skills and a fairly good grasp of PHP. So again, I'm going to have a quick review of PHP the first two weeks probably, and then after that I'm going to expect that you have a good understanding of it. Uh, this course will be divided into four parts. Now, uh, we may not get to the fourth part. The first part will be the basic PHP. The second part will be Coding Nighter or the Model View Controller part of the class, which will actually probably be the main portion of the class. Um, I'm using Coding Nighter. There are other options, but I think Coding Nighter is the easiest to get up. And then after that, we'll be doing C Sharp and ASP and at um, showing Microsoft's solution to web applications. And if there's any time left, we'll hopefully get into a little bit of Drupal and perhaps integrating our own scripts into Drupal. That's the idea. The course should start fairly easy, but the difficult difficulty will ramp up. So be very careful with that. Do not fall behind. Do not um, let the information build up without having a good review and understanding of it because it will build on itself. When you're watching this video, please, a couple hints, please take notes. Um, if you're browsing the internet while listening to my soothing voice, it's not going to help you. You're not going to retain it. You'll need, feel free to pause the video. Make sure, I, in fact, I would encourage you have your own PHP script up and type out the code I'm typing and then pause the video and play with the PHP code a little bit. Make sure you understand it. If you just casually have this running in the background while you're playing a video game or something, you're not going to get the information. Um, again, the information will build and build and build on itself. So if you're not paying attention um, and you fall behind, this class can and will overwhelm you. Um, and also another phenomena, be careful with the O, oh, that makes sense to me phenomena with watching videos. And I, and I personally have a problem with this. I'll watch a tutorial video online and be like, oh, that makes perfect sense. But because I'm not actually actively doing it, because I'm not actually tr you know, testing it and playing with it, I forget immediately. And when I try to do it, I can't. So I'm going to be demonstrating a lot of different code, which will probably make a lot of sense while I'm explaining it. It will make less a sense, less less sense, when you try to do on your do it on your own. So again, please actively be involved in this video. So for reading for this uh, class, I want you guys to look at w3schools.com and look under PHP and just go to the default page. <clears throat> Sorry. On the left-hand side, you will see the basic PHP tutorials. Please read through all of those. Um, you need to have a good command of the loops, the if structures, the classes, and some of the basic functionality available to you. Um, again, you can't be a good coder if you have to look up every line of code you're writing. So please read through that. And just as a review from last semester or hopefully the class you've already taken. Example. 
first of all, we have to download it. I downloaded it from Apache Friends, um, which you go back download. You can see that you have different options here. If you just Google it, you should be able to find it. So I think it's also on SourceForge. Right now, we're not going to worry about any of the add-ons or any of um, this stuff. We'll just get the basic package, which I just click this link here. Once you download it, you can move this over here. Uh, you have it. Let's open it up. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Other screen here. We'll say allow publisher. Okay. Avoid any alerts that come up. So here we have the XAMPP setup. We'll just hit next. Uh, we're going to install everything here. We can install things here. Uh, we'll install everything. You don't. We don't necessarily need Perl for this class, but we'll just keep it. Let's we'll hit next. That changed the directory. I'm going to store mine in E. Um, XAMPP. Next, and then I'm, we're not going to worry about any of these. We don't need to learn about anything else about that right now. Next, and then we'll hit next, and we'll let things run. I'm going to pause the recording here, and then just everything should finish, and we'll resume. And we're back. <clears throat> so here, a little thing pops up. You can set the private networks for public networks. I think uh, for just our sake, we'll say private networks. I believe this should still work inside the school network, but uh, we don't need to worry about public networks here. So we'll allow access. And this should be, this should pop up and say, do you want to start the control panel now? We'll say yes. Then we hit finish. So fairly, it should be a fairly simple install. Also, maybe it'll ask you, what is your install, um, your language? We'll just choose English. Now this little control panel should pop up. I have it on a different screen. And this will basically be all the little different things you can command. We're essentially gonna be using Apache and MySQL right now. Uh, PHP comes installed, so it's already running behind or inside pa Apache. And everything's installed in, under eExamp, which we'll talk about in a moment. So right now, let's just go ahead and start Apache and we'll start MySQL. So, and then again, you may have to unblock something. So in this case, we'll say allow access for MySQLD. So now we have both of these things supposedly running. We can pr prove it by opening up a web browser and then going to localhost. And it should take us to exam dashboard. There we are. Um, and also, if we have, like I said, if we have the MySQL running, we can go to PHP My Admin, and it will take us in, and here is our database. We're going we're gonna to come back to this later and kind of do some, inter or add some, our, some of our own databases and do stuff here. But for now, we can see that we have the database up, we have access to it, and that's good for now. So... <clears throat> One more thing, just since we're on the topic, if we open up a, a folder, um, we have to find the web root. This is where the top layer of the directory per se, per se where the web web server lives. In on my case, I installed it under E and Examp. I go to E Examp, and then I'll see all these different files and folders. A little bit um, overwhelming, but that's okay. We're only going to be focused right now on htdocs. So it's under the exam folder where you installed it, htdocs. This is the web root. This is if I take if I type localhost, it's going to look here and it's going to look for index.php. It found index.php and then what this actually does is call the um, dashboard that's inside the subfolder here. So just of a proof, we'll open up a, uh, if we don't have it, you might want to install some sort of um, text editor. It cannot be a word editor. So I'm going to use Notepad++. If I, I don't have that one, do I? 
You know what? We'll just I'll just use a good old fashioned Notepad. I'll probably install Notepad plus plus. It's much easier to use. I would not recommend using Notepad. And we'll just say hello world. And we're going to save it in this directory as oh I will say like a test code or something. Go here, go down to exam, uh, htdocs, and we'll say we're not going to or say all files. We do not want to save it as a .txt. So we're going to save it as all files and give it a file extension. We'll say test.html. We save that. Now I go open up my web browser again, and instead of doing a local host, or wrong one, sorry, <clears throat> instead of doing local host um, PHP my admin, we're going to do local host and we're going to say test.html. And there we see, hello world, this is the file we just made, and it's being served up. This is not the same as me double clicking it and opening it in a web browser from the file. If I do that, it will not execute the PHP script. I have to serve it through the web server. So it's important that we have to see this local host here and we know that the PHP is then going to run. So after that, we have exam and MySQL set up and that will conclude this tutorial. So for a review, uh, make sure exam is installed. Hopefully it should be by now. Um, try to make a PHP script inside the web page that prints hello, how are you? Not by typing hello, how are you, but using the command echo. And then try to make a PHP script that will randomly pick a number between 1 and 100 and add that to the above message. Something cute like hello, how are you, your lucky number is, whatever. And then for the challenge, try to make HTML form that will ask the user to enter their name. Get the value or post the value uh, to the PHP script and add that to the message above. So, hello, insert your name, how are you, your lucky number is whatever. So if you can do that, you're well on your way. Um, and then we're gonna be reviewing basic PHP next lecture. And after that, we'll be getting into more advanced stuff. Thank you for watching. This has been Toll Talks. I will see you next time.